Hi, I'm Adalberto Claudio Quiroz, and thank you for checking our work on GANs and learning representations of cancer tissue. So as a motivation for our work, as you may already know, cancer is a very heterogeneous disease where you have this complex microenvironment of lymphocytes, stroma, and cancer cells interacting with tissue and blood vessels. And although we know that the genomic and transcriptomic diversity in tumors is quite high, when it comes to the phenotype diversity between and within tumor, this is poorly understood. So we turn our attention to genetic model as a way of identifying and reproducing different types of cancer tissue architectures and morphologies, and then disentangle representations as a way of further understanding the phenotype diversity. So we started working with a big gun and we introduced the relativistic coverage discriminator to improve the image quality. We also took two features from StyleGAN the mapping network and style mixing regularization to allow these representation learning properties. And this is the quality of image that we can get. On the row A here, you can see generated images from our model. And on row B, you can see real images. We also tested the quality of the gen generated images with FID metrics, first with the common FID convolutional features. And we also propose an additional feature space for the FID in which the images are accounted for number of cancer cells, number of lymphocytes, number of stroma, and also for density in cancer cells in the tissue. And you can see that the values that we get are really close to ImageNet GAN train models. Additionally, we tested the quality of the images with pathologists. So the motivation is that pathologists are experts at working with tissue images and they will be able to find artifacts in the tissue that will give them away as generated. So we test these images with 50 individual images in which we ask the pathologist to rate from one to five, five being the most real. And what you can see in this figure is the ROC curve performance of the pathologist. As you see this, um, pathologist performance is really close to random classification, which means that they are not able to differentiate between real and fake. So with this, we concluded that the image quality of the model is good enough to move forward. And this is where we think the model has the most value, and it is on the representation learning properties. In here, we are comparing a big GAN latent space to the pathology GAN's latent space. And each of the dots here is a latent representation of generated tissue. At the same time, each generated tissue is associated with a class and the classes accounts for the number of cancer cells in the tissue. Zero, the lowest counts of number cells and eight, the largest. You can see the placement of generated tissue on a big gun, it's completely random, but it, when it comes to the pathology gun, there's an interpretable latent space where points, uh, tissue with low counts of number cells are placed in common regions of the latent space and as we increase the number of cancer cells we move to different parts of it. Additionally we played with linear interpolations of um, between tissues. We took benign tissue and tumorous tissue and we perform an eight stage of uh, linear interpolation between these two latent vectors and finally we fed the generator. So what you can see here is the comparison between the pathology GAN and a big GAN. And as you can see on the big GAN, we, can ha we have this uh, fading effect from the cancer cells rather than an absolute increase of number of cancer cells. And this is what it actually happens in the pathology GAN model. This tells us that the model is able to better interpret and produce an image based on those features. And finally, we did some vector operations um, with the semantic meaning of the latent vectors. So we took different um, latent vectors with associated meaning of benign tissue, lymphocytes, stroma, and tumorous tissue. And then we did these simple arithmetic uh, operations. And to give you an example, we can see here benign tissue and cancer cells, and we subtract the latent vector of tumorous tissue. And from the resulting vector, we fed it to the generator. And indeed, the generated image is completely clean of um, cancer tissue. So with this, we concluded that the model uh, has this high quality image generation, but most importantly, we hold these representation learning properties. Uh, I hope you like this work and I really hope we see you at MIDL. And thank you for taking the time.